What's up, Bakugan fans? It's D Hart. I have brand new Bakugan Legends Pyrus Platinum Series Blitz Fox. So, Metal Blitz Fox. Here's a look at him on the back. Gonna open him up right now and see if he is strong for the pro trading card game. Going to roll him, see how he rolls. Got him. Hey, that was pretty fast. All right, here is our Blitz Fox. From the back, the side, the front, the orange face, the yellow ears. Let's zoom in a little bit. Here we go. Close up view. Okay, let's close this up. This model is looking awesome. Close this up, give it a roll, and see how it goes. Here we go, what it looks like when it's closed up. All right, find ourselves a core, grab this magic shield, and here's the arrow for the front. So we'll go back three hexes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Push it up a little bit so it's all on screen. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. So you roll it forward, he opens forward, catches himself so that it's not rolling off the core with its feet. That's actually kind of cool, because these Platinums are heavy, and if you roll them, they roll off the core. So it's kind of neat that his feet catch him, hold him up there. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's roll it backwards, remind ourselves what it looks like. Um, but you can just roll Platinum Blitz Fox forward, and it'll catch. Oh, I remember that these guys can be a little bit finicky to close. They don't always stay closed super easily. Sometimes I have to um, push the wing down. Helps it lock it into place a little bit. It looks like that worked. So let's do this again. One, two, three. Oh, where's the bottom? Four, five, six. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. Oh, this one's solid. Frontwards, backwards. Platinum Blitz Fox is opening up, holding that core. Let's just grab a second core. Uh, test the magnet strength here. So it's going to pick up both of them like it usually does. So if you can be really accurate with your rolling and line it up, you can pick up two cores. That's generally done by closing the box on. But um, when you're measuring the roll, when you find that magnet, you put it down, you have your cores away. So we'll count back one, two, three, four, five, six. And you want it to land in the middle. And right now it's lined up to, to land right in the middle of the front core. So what you can try to do, let me move these all up a little bit, is you can uh, tilt the Bakugan back just a little bit so that the core will rotate and land closer to the edge of the first. So let's see how good I just did. Three, two, one, Bakugan Brawl. You see that? You see how he, <laughs> he sort of got on the edge there? So let's see if we go slow. Oh, so he wasn't picking it up all the way. It sort of, sort of got it, but not all the way. So you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. All right, let's pop open the card. Grab the scissors. Slice that open. Let's see what we got here. So it's coming with Fire Fist and a Helix. Here are the two. Uh, this isn't a bad Helix at all. That's a good Helix. Fire Fist plus four damage. Here is the checklist. We'll skip over that. The gate card. Ooh, look at the art. That one's fun. I like that a lot. 900B and one damage and on a fire fist, your opponent has to remove their core and you get to place it onto the matrix. That's pretty darn neat. Oh my gosh, this is strong. So you could be up to 1400 and zero. If you have the highest B helix, you are up to 1500 and zero. If you could get a shadow strike card, or gear on the Platinum Blitz Fox, that would be pretty cool because then the damage would not come down and he would stay at 1,501. But if you want to run the highest B power fist, you'd be at 1,150 and four. 
your opponent wouldn't have a core and you would always be winning the B power battle off of the roll because no Bakugan has a higher B power than a thousand. And here we are, Platinum Blitzfox at 1150 and four. So this is really strong, really, really strong, I would say. Um, definitely competitive worthy. This is one of the better um, core manipulating Bakugan with a B power as high as 900. So that's wild. If you wanted to see about some high damage, you could be 907. Or even with this core that they gave us, you could be 1050 and 5. 1050 assures that you are higher than your opponent. You're at least 50 B higher, because they could be 1,000. You're at 1050, and you have 5 damage. Um, so I like this Platinum Blitz Fox. This is strong. I'm happy I got it. It's going to go into competitive decks when I have Pyrus Faction for sure. Now, I'm going to pull aside last year's Platinum Blitz Fox. So year four, Evolutions. Year five, Legends. Which ones do you guys like more? This is the Elemental version. He's got the yellow and the red. I like the back of the year four uh, Elemental better. That looks really cool. Who are you guys choosing if you had to choose one? If we look at the strength of these two Bakugan, who's stronger? Platinum Blitz Fox Elemental card here, but um, it has 300 B, three damage, two shields. You could get up to 700, and then you get to add a core, so you'd be at 700. If you added a magic shield, you would be at 1350 and three, and you can take your opponent's magic shield, so that's pretty cool, but 1350 is not incredibly competitive. Or, like we've already been talking about, you can be higher than your opponent in B power with Legends Blitz Fox. I think Legends Blitz Fox is stronger in this case. Although, in both cases, this Bakugan is taking cores from an opponent. So, you could put them both on the same team, and your opponent would have a hard time keeping hold of their cores. That's pretty strong. Pretty strong. Let me know which ones you guys would choose competitive wise. I'm interested to see what tactics you all like. I think that's it for me, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more like this, Pyrus Platinum Blitzfox, catch you soon.